Friends, hello everyone. Today I thought it would be cool to do a previs of this scene from the movie Logan. This is the first opening scene. I really like it because it presents Logan not as a superhero who can just with one left hand uh, knock off a bunch of enemies, just like any other uh, tired person, a regular driver who who started off their daily work and being boldly robbed by Mexican gangsters at some gas station somewhere deep in the United States or maybe near the border with Mexico. Can't really tell what uh, highway it is to be honest, based on the background. The and to make this uh, previous, I thought, why not use Unreal and why? Why not use MetaHuman, which is now? Oh, by the way, the 60 second track on Dota. Check out where it is. If anyone knows, write in the comments. So I thought, uh, why not use MetaHuman to create this character who will look uh, as much like Logan as possible? In such an old suit, in a white shirt with an unshaven beard, with a scruffy beard, I would say, and such disheveled hair. I think the gangsters themselves could be made there too. So here's the scene and that's why I'm going to go there right now. Opening Meta Human. And now I will uh, to create a character as similar as possible to Logan. Meta Human offers a variety of ready-made faces that can be used as a base. I think I'll just uh, take a look at uh, the faces in this set and choose the most suitable ones as a base first uh, to do something similar to make an actor look like uh, Logan. Write in the comments if you use meta human if you use unreal for previous i use unreal maya depending on the project so what do we see here a multitude of faces a multitude of faces that meta human offers by default which you can use to get started first of all we need the middle-aged guy let's look again at how he looks because i really liked how he looks here he is that's a jacket a shirt not shaven shaggy some middle age maybe 40 years old maybe 45 50 that's why we are selecting a man who will be similar Maybe this one could be his. Of course, he will have to dress up. He is dressed quite funny now. So, haha, <laughs> funny. The guy at his place seems suitable only so far. Only his face, if anything needs to be dressed, will be like, so what other options? This is Cooper. This is Dex, somewhere Dex. I'll look at him, such a cool guy. Maybe we'll take him for the gangster role. This could be his, uh, Emmanuel could be his uh, partner in a uh, twisting limousine wheels on the border with Mexico. This one too, I think, uh, could be Gavin's character. I don't know how correct. My pronunciation of his name is but i don't really like the build actually this guy with a big head is kind of weird maybe we can edit him a bit and he'll be fine who else is here let's see christopher christopher seems to be a sporty person i think uh, his build would suit us how about the physique i can fit but he needs to be dressed will be in a suit so let's see so christopher who else is there he's a bit old but i guess we can adjust everything here this is Oscar, so let's try dressing up Christopher first. Let's do this. Create selected mm -hmm. and see. We can stop the animation here. Mixing faces, skin, eyes, teeth, makeup, hair. I want to start over with hair because I'm interested in how it will look. Okay, this can be closed. How would he look with a shaggy hairstyle like our Logan had with such a hairstyle? Let's enlarge it. Here it is. With a hairstyle like this, let's see how he will look. Look. So I want, uh, you know, just such a hairstyle, whether it exists here or not. Oh, I used to walk with such a one, by the way. With such a one, I even had one like this, I think, in my avatar somewhere. Let's look at this guy again. Uh, let's look at our Logan again. I want to see how he... Uh, there they are. His tracks are going a bit back back. Hair grows back here, I think. Uh, something like this could be... Now let's look at the details. What details? Color. So let's go on for now. I want to dress him up first. Mustache. What about the mustache? Beard and mustache are here, I see it's too big it's not like a haircut here it's a little bigger but not too much it has some sort of a lot of tails here i want to take a closer look probably too spicy this is too much in the other direction i want the actor to look as much like the one in the frame as possible a bit unshaven with a worn out beard um, but still it's all very neat probably i'll settle for this bye yeah this is too long i'll take this one uh... so what's next what about the whiskers? Whiskers. Well, she also has such grown hair, actually. So these are red, but no excess. This here, it will probably suit us. These are the proportions, body proportions. High, medium, and short, low. I think she has an average body build. Let's see what he's wearing. That's a shirt. That's exactly what I need. Primary core, core, white, that kind. There's some choice if I still want him to be in a blazer, right? Okay. What about the pants? Bottom. These kinds of trousers. And shows, show. Well, the shoe drivers who drive the limo should be there. Of course, everything is classic tech. He has black boots. It's too trendy. I would dress him like this. Why don't I understand the shorts? Why are the pants so short? Um, what's this trend? So we have this one. Uh, I don't like that he's excessively trendy. So here's the thing. Look, this facial expression. Sad, sad. Somehow I don't like him. I think he should be sad. Happy, emotional. Even the pose here is angry. 
uh, no we are not taking this actor to our cast yet because it's too far from what's needed okay let's leave it as it is for now so Christoph uh, stays in our trunk uh, and for now we'll take I remember there was a price at the beginning hmm. which I think might suit us better for this we tie this here hmm. here in gameplay on this Cooper something tells me he's best suited for the role while they dressed him quite eccentric I'd say uh, let's start with the clothing everyone's the same apparently top Firstly, I don't want it. I just need a classic, classic white shirt I'm cleaning up. So, I need a jacket. Where is the jacket? Don't they offer to use a jacket here? If anyone knows how to add a jacket here, write in the comments. So, okay. Trousers are there, but this is closer to what is needed. Firstly, I like the boots here. Classic style for him. Let's make him a beard now. I think he will look alike with a beard. I remember. This is what I used. So, a mustache. Another mustache. Here they are. The mustaches. Let's see what uh, eyebrows are. Uh, Wonderful Logan had, if we can of course, such dense ones. Now a closer look, here he is. Rougher plan, yes. After all, he has, by the way, significantly grown mustache here. Therefore, we can even make his mustache thicker. Mm. Uh, what's with the hairstyle? Mm. Uh, where's the hairstyle? There it mm. is. I want a hairstyle like his, all disheveled. This is Meta Human Creator from Unreal Engine. I'm still thinking maybe it's worth trying some other one because somehow i feel there are limitations in the options offered uh, i seem to want more options write in the comments about your experience with meta human all right let's take this one for now i kind of liked it it's not so neat at least it should be a bit messy okay what's here sideways let's see i won't look but i can still scoop out of it in principle this guy of course he won't be in a jacket but that's not really important uh, so what about the back how does it look from the back let's see here it is from the back yeah, I think, okay, that will be enough. So the next step is to load it into Unreal and try to set it in at least one pose to take a look. Does it work the way I need it to? Because the pose, it uh, tells a lot about, uh, in general, what character and uh, is it suitable for your job. And now I want to export it uh, looking at these two options. We have, uh, after all, I like uh, Christopher less. Christopher is less suitable. This one, a guy named Logan, he's somewhat similar to Christopher, but he's closer nonetheless. Here are uh, our options. Remove, duplicate, import, and export. Obviously we need export. Uh, next, uh, I'll try to open it in Unreal Engine. So I created an empty scene into which I am now going to load the characters that I created based on MetaHuman. I'm heading over here to Pixel Bridge. I'm entering the MetaHuman and my MetaHuman section. And I see two handsome guys that I've made. Now I'm doing a download and we'll try to work with it. So while our character is loading, I want to see what's there in this set of library regarding the locations that I can use for this device. Maybe there is a gas station. First, I want to see what is available for free for a month here. There is a market, a castle. I don't need all this. I need, I want to find a gas station. Uh, so what was here, huh? This scene, is there a plan at all? You see, it's a regular gas station where they shot him. There it is. Some kind of either gas station or roadside. It's unclear. I want to see what's available for free in the market, in the marketplace. City. By the way, this might just be what I need for the background in this example. There's a car here. At the very least, I'm living on our gangsters. Uh, here it is, uh, and here's a question by the way, do we need the car with the rig, even for doors, because most likely the cars aren't rigged. We see how one person in the background climbs up there, but it's not scary. You can even hide this movement with a camera, and for previous this will be enough. Uh, so okay, our character is still loading, uh, here it loads something for quite a while, so let's, okay, take. We're looking at uh, full 7 gigabytes. So while that's being added, let's see what else could be interesting. It will be useful for work uh, with this scene. I want a city environment after all. What I like about MetaHuman is that it comes with control rig and I can I can do it, uh, create uh, the animation that I want. Because after all, in this pre-visualization, I need not just library animation, but specific for this scene. And so I need a control rig here. So I guess I want to check this out because I think I can find something suitable for me here. I understand it's very conditional here, quite indeed, but maybe after all, maybe ground will suit me. Let's, let's try. So we need to look. Downtown uh, West Modular Park. So this could potentially be a background for... Yes, I can actually not use straight in the same location as there in reality, but just to create an impression similar to it. But honestly, it's not exactly what I need. By the way, write in the comments. After all, who uses what for previous? 
and layout uh, because I predominantly use Maya in my work. But uh, on the project I'm currently working on, we're using a combination of Maya and Unreal Engine. And I'm just curious uh, how widely is Unreal Engine used in gaming now in the animation and cinema world for layouts and previous. Write in the comments. So building set, let's see what can be constructed from this. Such a thing. Yeah, I actually like this more. Maybe even this is what needs to be taken. Yes, I like this more. Something similar to what was here can be made from this. Uh, okay, let's do this. I take it. Uh, let's see. Let's check if our character has loaded. We go to Pixel Bridge. He has loaded. So I uploaded this asset. And now I'm looking at the demo scene. A demo scene. I want to pick a place that might look like this event place. Well, here, honestly, it's some sort of superb uh, somewhere outside the city. But... I don't have such a place right now, I just want to estimate where a similar event could be here, so I'll do it now. The camera moves a bit faster, and I just want to see where to place the character. So, to position the camera so that there is depth of frame from all sides, presumably it can be placed somewhere here, like it's a garage. You could imagine that he parked somewhere here, and here he is coming out, and he is coming out, and all the dismantling is happening right here, on the road. So that's why I want to copy the scene first, I just pull it to the side with Alt, and make copies, rename. Transfer it to the level right here. And now I want to put Logan himself here. Похоже на улице какого-то Логана как раз сейчас прям. So I want to put Logan himself right here. Let's look closer at it. We approach. There it is a beauty. There it is. But uh, something seems uh, off with the scale here. I suspect. Just a question or not? Or am I imagining? So no need to copy. Or am I mistaken? Uh, let's just look. Especially when you're working with previous, it's very important to remember about scale, about that. No, in my opinion, it's fine. I am looking at it in relation to the door, although it seems a bit too small, definitely too small. Okay, if I make it a bit bigger, like this one, so 1.25, 1.1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay, just like that. Uh, it just seemed to me that it's kind of small, actually. Now I want uh, what's why very fast camera, actually, the camera moves too quickly. Now I just want to put it in one of the positions in this scene, specifically here. Later, after he was shot, he became so helpless right here. He's almost out of strength, trying to stay on his feet, and this is the pose I want to set, see how uh, MetaHuman works, so I create a level sequence. Here is Logan 1, uh, and so we're loading our character sequence. If you choose it, it will uh, default right here, so you don't have to look for it. Let's go. We get this blue print, logon, body face and such controls appeared immediately. Yes, and let's try to uh, get him into the position we need like this. That's the pose I keyed in, let it be the basic pose, the T pose. And in the zero frame I will make the pose that I want now. First off, uh, I want to lower his hands down, let his, let his hands down. So the pose is like this, this kind of pose, he's slightly tilted. Meanwhile, if you notice, there's such an axis in the body, tilted, and the head is perpendicular to the ground. And it relies on this foot, so I would start by setting legs in the right position. You see the leg twitches? Uh, more precisely, it doesn't twitch. The leg moves in jerks because there is an attachment to the grid here. When we shoot, everything instantly becomes smoother. I want him to have a support. Such an important moment. An important moment that inset the other keys. Here's create auto key. That's all from now. Key. All the movements I will make will pierce into the key. And even if I change, everything remains in place between the keys. You can move quickly by pressing pressing brackets on the keyboard. Oh, these are Russian letters. BYE. And again, I'm looking at the reference, this tilt. I want to give him this tilt right away. Such a tilt here. His legs on the reference are widely spaced. He is in such an active pose, I would say energetic. That's his. Such a tired tilt here. Unlike me, of course, I missed something here. In May, you can just press in the middle and it will already the turn is taking place. Here it is necessary to highlight this. It's not very convenient, actually. You always need to remember about the character's legs. Their position should be such that he was still stable. Even at the moment when he is standing like this inclined, he must be stable. He shouldn't just fall to the ground. After all, we all live on a planet where gravity applies. And every one of our poses, every pose of our character, is actually the one what kind of relationship it has with gravity, I would say. How much is he resisting her? Here it stands. It has. He still has a small twist here in the chest, towards this side. Like he's slightly turned with the shoulder forward to the villains. I want to keep that. For previous, actually, it's not about how many posts you make, but about how you make them. I would say it's important to do less but better, because in previous you just need to convey the right character. Uh, don't forget to save... Uh Remember about the tension in the body. It be there is always tension. It's just different. The tension in the body is directly related to the pose of your character. He also has this kind of tilt to the sides. 
by the way, I want the axis of rotation to be not in the world coordinates, but in the character's coordinates. So here, here I press and you see my axis becomes relative to the character immediately. In her reference, there's a slight bend right here at the elbow. He's kind of gearing up for a hit actually. You might not notice it right away, but it's there. And again, pay attention to how the head behaves in relation to the body. There is a tilt in the body like this and the head is perpendicular to the ground. So I want to keep this. And there I would have set my foot wider to have more stance, to make the stance more serious, so to speak. I don't like the pose I'm getting yet, I just don't believe it, because the legs need to be wider for me to believe this. So we don't need to move it forward like this. Very important, the position of the hands. See, they are as if ready, as if preparing for a strike. And that uh, this look from under the forehead, it's such a predator's look. Actually, here's the thing. Here he is, he's lowering his head as if defending himself, putting his forehead forward like that. This hand of his is hanging actually tired. Oh, besides, he just took a couple of hits with a wrench. Apart from everything, the clavicle, I would also do the clavicle a bit like this. And here the hands are actually always very important. The hands tell a lot about the state of your character is right now. Often people break their hands when they pose and it spoils everything. So you have to be careful with your hands, check your poses from different sides, how they look. I actually still think he He's standing unstable now, as if he's leaning back. He slightly shifted uh, his center of gravity and turned his head a little to the side. Such a turn really gives him a predatory look, I would say. It's, here it is, the gaze is on. Here it is, excellent. And I want, besides, these fingers are incredibly important. Look at the fingers, they are also under a certain tension. His hands are not clenched, but they are not relaxed either. I really like it when there's an opportunity to adjust the whole hand, just like that. Uh, I like it, excellent, a bit more composed. Uh, yeah, big toe. Oh. Uh, to line up, uh, it's as difficult as drawing them. Pay attention here, his thumb is almost straight, almost straight. I really like this, it has characters. Uh, yeah, knees. Uh, it's like this, straight. Uh, oops. Now I feel that uh, it's hard for him to stand. I don't even know how much, maybe one of the legs should be slightly moved back. Focus on the calculation. Yes, like this to give it a bit of instability. And here's what we got. I want to edit his look so he looked like this. The pose turned out like this on the side. And so, so I tested it. I like how it, oh wait, I want to also do this hand. These fingers also make them on the one hand. It seems that fingers and fingers are the same. Fingers are not just fingers, fingers are character. Therefore, when I working on animation projects, I, if I, I'm not doing this myself, but working in a team with someone. I try to ask animators to always be attentive with hands, hands tell a lot. Hands are history. So hands are history in general. Try not to forget them. Try not to forget history. Tell it through your hands too. Hands are history, character, emotional state at this moment of the character. That's important. So I think I'll finish at this stage. That's enough. So what do we have? I created a character who will play the role of Logan in the previous. Uh, what will be the next step? We need to pick characters in MetaHuman for his enemies. These are the guys, uh, the guys who attack him. These ones, for this, we will also use MetaHuman. We take his competitors. I'll also find the limousine where he wakes up and I'll upload it to the scene next time. Next time, I think we'll do a little analysis before we do. The previous will do a little analysis of that. What poses will need to be done? How many of these poses? What is not necessary to do? And in general, let's analyze this scene first before doing. Thank you all for watching. If you have any question about uh, pre-visualization or layout, post them in the comments. Like, subscribe to my channel and have a nice day.